All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And this is a video response to uh, The Best Fight, The Best Boxing. Um, I was recommended that channel by Blood Boxing. And, you know, I figured that if Blood Boxing recommends a channel, I need to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And that's what I did. Um, I enjoyed the channel. You know, definitely, you know, real educated brother. I mean, puts down a lot of thoughts, and you have to really think after you watch his channel, you know. Like, you know, wow, he, he actually proposes a lot of things from a lot of different angles that, you know, I like. Um, I want to go ahead and address, because I saw a video, and uh, it was a video titled that the LDBC got uh, a feud. Well, let me go ahead and tell you this right now, best fight the best. There isn't a feud. You see, the LDBC was started with, you know, started with 78 and blood boxing. And we formed a nucleus. We formed a very strong nucleus of guys. No matter what blood boxing or, you know, whatever videos he come out, because I, I be here on record. I mean, ever since I've known blood boxing, I probably disagree with 50% of the things that he say. And I've known blood boxing probably for about maybe three or four years. Now, I want to tell you that me disagreeing with half of the stuff that he say, we're still pretty close. Uh, we're tight enough to where, you know, I can call blood if I needed to. And I could ask him whatever I wanted, and he would do the same thing. See, we've still been pretty, like, we've been close all this time. And it's not because, it's not because we see eye to eye. It's because I respect his difference. And he respect mine. And he respect a lot of the brothers. So when you see blood make a video, bro, it's real. It's raw. It's authentic. It's a difference of opinion. We, we got to get out the mindset because the nucleus of the LDBC has been intact. We talk behind the scenes every day, man, and, and, and it's crazy. We've been intact. The people that beef with us, they're not really with us. And I, I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to need you to understand that, that principle, just that one principle. I, I'm not telling you what to do when I say I need you to understand, but the thing of it is, man, we have a lot of guys that they will affiliate themselves with the LDBC, okay? They'll affiliate themselves, and then as soon as they fall out with somebody, these guys, they leave. Or they'll leave, and then they'll make a thousand videos saying, you know, how the LDBC tried to control their content, which is the dumbest thing I ever heard. I mean, uh, you know, we might be like the brother uh, Blood and say, you know, hey, you know what? I think you should take down a video. You know, and Blood made a very, very good, compassionate video to another brother. And he told him, look, man, it's in your best thing. Just take it down, man. There's no need for this. And, you know... That's why I always got respect for blood boxing. I don't care what I disagree with him on. I don't care how much I disagree with the guy on. Okay, I, I, I'm going to always have respect for blood boxing. I probably agree with 90% of what 78 say. It, it's a lot of brothers. You know, me and the one LVZ, we probably on a 70-30 plan. I agree with 70% of the stuff he's saying. And some of the stuff, I just, I can't, I can't feel it. <laughs> I can't feel it. But see, if VZ had a problem, <laughs> VZ would just hit me up on the phone and he would cuss me out and tell me what the problem is. So see, here go the thing, man. Here go the thing. People on the outside looking in, what they want you to do is they want you to think that we are feuding. We're not. Not the nucleus anyway. Not the nucleus. And when people say, well, you know, Fred said this. Well, Fred from Barbershop Conversations, I love the brother, man. Love him to death, gives good advice. But, you know, he's not a member. He's not really with the LDBC. I mean, he, he rocks with a lot of us, and we have some of the same so, uh, the same talking points. But, you know, Fred, and he'll tell you that he's, he affiliates with us. Okay? So, there is no feud. See, the thing of it is, people misconstrue. I'm going to tell you why the LDBC is in a catch-22. We're always in a catch-22 because if we have the same opinion, then we're a cult. And, you know, they always pick black people. They pick black men to do this with. If we have the same opinion, we're a cult. If we have a difference of opinion and if we get on the Smoke City Mobcast and start arguing and going in on each other, well, we feud, you know? And I get so tired of that narrative when it comes to black men. Like, you know, why can't we just have a difference of opinion? But, you know, see, what it is, man, and you hit the nail on the head in your video, it's the oldest trick, man. It's a divide and conquer tactic that these people try to do because, one, they're, they're worried like, man, how can all these black dudes get all these people to support them like that? I mean, have you ever thought of that, man? We have a lot of black people that support us. 
and we got a lot of Hispanics and we got a lot of white people. Like, you know, people, they just a lot of white people support us. I mean, I'm telling you now. And y- you guys will be shocked on how many white people actually support the LDBC. It's staggering. It's staggering when you look at the numbers, man. And, you know, and it, it was a white guy, man. I never forget. He left some money in my uh, PayPal. And, um, you know, him and I got to talking and, you know, him and I, we actually come from the same city. You know, he's moved on and, uh, you know, he's, he's in uh, Texas down there with Black Fight Fan. But, uh, you know, we got to talking and come to find out, man, this guy is a youth mentor. You know, he's a youth mentor. So, you know, we, we, there's just so much stuff that he do for the kids in his community. So, you know, it's just like you never know. But see, they'll, they'll want you to think that we're a cult and we're taking people money and, you know, we, we're using super chats, man. You know... <laughs> My super chats, I use them for fighters, you know? And see, people don't know what the brothers are doing with those super chats. But I can tell you what, we talk behind the scenes, and y'all think that they they spending about all this this lavish stuff. They not spending that money. I'm just trying to tell you. And that's all I say about the situation about that. See, you got dudes worried about people's super chats, man. You got people worried about that. You I mean you got people running around here counting people's sub counts. You got people doing all that stuff, view count, video views. I mean, you got people who do that, man. Why? Because they're on the outside looking in, man. They want to be a part of the movement. Or they want the momentum that the LDBC got. They want that momentum. They care about that momentum. See, that, that, that's important to them because the oldest trick in the book is to divide and conquer black people. That's, that's the oldest trick. And when we form this unity, when we have unity and when we, when we have solidarity, see, these people, they don't know how to take it. So they do whatever they can. And you got people right now who be in the mob cast. Now, I've been blocking them. See, what I do is I'll go back in the, in, in the streams and the comments, and I'll look to see who showed up. And if there's anybody that I see going in between channels, I've been blocking them. I've been blocking them on all the major channels because these people, they're trying to divide and conquer. See, listen, let me tell you something. The LDBC is always five steps, uh, steps ahead of people. So whatever, everything you mentioned in your video, we're already five steps ahead. A lot of those people, man, they already been blocked, man. They can't even come on different channels. They can't do it. I mean, man, we got all divisions, man. But see, the thing of it is, it's a lot of stuff that a lot of you guys that you're up and coming and you guys really want to rock with us. That's cool. That's cool. And I, I even think to a point, you know, people, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to prove yourself. <laughs> you just got to rock the content. That's it. You just got to rock the content. But there's a nucleus because we decided to take a stand. And see, people don't understand how this thing really came to be. We decided to take a stand. The concept of the LDBC was to get into arguments. That's the concept of it. The concept of the LDBC was not meant for everybody to be on the same accord every day. That's not the concept. It's called Lion's Den for a reason, man. You got to be willing to go in there and argue and defend your talking points when you have to. That's the concept. But see, people get so, they get so, you know, wrapped up in what we're doing. They always want to sneak this or put us in titles. Look, best fight the best. Have you ever noticed that when people put LDBC in their titles on many of them dudes' videos, that's the most views that they ever get? That's the most views that they ever get. That ought to tell you, man, what we're doing is working. It's working. And they can say all they want to, man. They can say all they want to. But I'm going to tell you something, man. When you have channels, man, rocking seven and 8,000 subs in the LDBC, they go on live streams. And they got more people in the live streams, man, in some of these channels with 100,000 viewers, man, with 100,000. Guys, that means that you got a movement, man, that's reaching the masses. Now, why do I have Errol Spence and Keith? Now, why do I got these guys on here, man? Okay, so in another, po- another one of your talking points, you said, hey, man, we got to really focus on Triple G. Duck and Charlo. Brother, there are a lot of videos out in the LDBC without disdain for Triple G. Brother, I was the front leader. Okay, why when that why why, why you think whenever we do a mob cast, Junior the Truth always calling me to discuss Triple G. Listen, I was the front ring leader on bringing Triple G down, okay? I was the front ring leader because I was so just disgusted by Triple G. See, those videos are out there, man. A lot of LDBC videos talking about how we are disgusted with Janati Golovkin. They out there, man. You know, we are staying on Joshua Neck, but see, it's irrelevant now. The reason why we're not on Joshua Neck as much is because we're really trying to promote this fight with Wilder Fury. That's what we're doing. And we got to continue to do that because, see, Deontay Wilder is our champion. 
okay? He is the LDBC's champion. And we got to promote him as such, okay? We got to promote Deontay Wilder until he shows us otherwise. Deontay Wilder is our champion. He's the LDBC's heavyweight champion. Well, he's the world's champion, but he is our champion that we built from the ground up. That's real talk. So, you know, when we, we have these talking points, man, look, we done gave it to Gennady Golovkin. You gave it to him. We all giving it to him. Okay? But see, Anthony Joshua is not important right now. He's not important. Tyson Fury is. We can't worry about the guy who won't take the fight. See, we know that Eddie Hearn has lied, man. We know, everybody know the whole Eddie Hearn story, bro. We know the story. Okay? Everybody. From Blood Boxing to 78 to myself to Town Business to Ticket TV. Everybody. To the bottom line. We, everybody, man. We have made a, at our business to go in on Eddie Hearn. We've done that. Now it's time to promote our champion. It's time to promote our champion. Okay? The whole Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia thing, okay? A lot of us, man, we're not happy about that fight. Because for Errol Spence, that's not the best available fight that he can take. The best available fight that Errol Spence can make is against Terrence Crawford. Okay? We want the best to fight the best. Mikey Garcia can't beat Terrence Crawford, okay? That's not even going to be a good fight. Mark my words, if Errol Spence fights Mikey Garcia, Mikey Garcia is going to get knocked out in brutal fashion. Garcia is going to sleep, okay? He's going to get knocked out in brutal fashion, and there's nothing that Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia, the Mikey fans, none of them, they can't do nothing about that. I don't even rock with Mikey Garcia. Not even a fan of Mikey Garcia. But I'll call it out if I thought Mikey had a chance to win this fight. It's no chance, man. See, what it is, man, this is another mismatch in boxing. It's so many mismatches in boxing, now we have become normalized to the point, oh, okay, yeah, it's just boxing. Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia is another mismatch in the sport of boxing, okay? Mikey Garcia not winning that fight, man. He's not going to win the fight. He is going to get knocked out, and you heard it first. I'm predicting a knockout. Errol Spence will knock out Mikey Garcia. Mikey is skillful. Errol Spence is better. So that's why people are not really, you know, they're excited about this fight because we know what's going to happen, man. We've been around boxing long enough. You've been around boxing long enough. You know what's going to happen, too. You know that Errol Spence is going to kill that boy. But I know who he can't kill. Well, I know, he, I know who he, he, he will have a tough time killing. That's Terrence Crawford. And then, you know, y'all wonder why I got Keith Thurman. We've been on Keith Thurman neck for a long time. But see, it's, it's, come to, it's come a point in time, man, where either we, are we going to be revolutionaries or are we going to be boxing fans? Which one are we going to be? Okay, or do we just want to be both? Tell you what, man, if that's the case, if this is where we at, then we need to call for everybody, man, to get this smoke. Everybody got to get it. If these dudes are not fighting each other, we got to call it out. There's no feud within the LDBC. We all want the same thing, but we got different opinions. We all want the best to fight the best, but we got different opinions. Hey, man, we ain't worried about these dudes. And I laughed at the name, the LTNK. We ain't worried about them, man. See, them guys are irrelevant, man. They, they really want to really get on live streams with us, man. They really don't understand why people just keep giving us super chats. Even on my channel, Best Fight the Best, okay? I mean, the super chats, they come in, and it's not because, it's not because we're telling people, we're selling people this story, man. We're not doing that. People can connect with people who are real. People connect with those who are real, man. They connect with us. They connect with us, and they want to see us go forward. They want to see us keep putting content. So guess what, man? They put the Super Chat dollars in the Super Chat. That's what they do. I've never heard an LDBC channel say, give me your money or else. Nobody says that. And all of us, it's a, it's a tradition that we shout out our Super Chats. We shout them out. Because we do, even the 99 cents, even zero, even a penny, I'm going to shout that out. But people, they invest in us, man. They're putting their money and dollars toward us because they're investing in us. They want to see us succeed. Because all of us, man, we're down-to-earth people, man. We're not trying to talk over people, man. We're not, you know, we want, we want the best to fight the best. We're the underground. Okay, we're not, we don't have all these hundreds of thousands of subs on our channel. But isn't that funny, man? We get a lot of views. I'm talking about the LDBC collectively over all these mega websites. You know, we get a lot of views. And, and, and in most cases, more than some of those big sites. All our subs are tuned in, man. 
all ourselves. And I have to tell you, man, I have to tell you, there's no feud. There's no feud. It may seem like it is because people are arguing, but look at the nucleus. 78, blood boxing, the bottom line, CNT Walden, myself, town business, ticket TV. Oh, we're going to disagree. Fight critic. Dream chasing boxing, who is no longer dream chasing boxing. See, so years ago, man, we decided to take a stand. We decided to take a stand. We decided to stand up, man. We got sick and tired of everything that was going on in boxing. We got sick of the racism, so we we put all our channels, we put our channels online. We lost a lot of subs behind this, man. I'm talking about we lost a lot of subscribers. We lost a lot of viewership numbers. I mean, man, do you understand, like, really and truly, like, the channel sacrifices that we made for our channels? It was a big impact. We were getting attacked daily, man. We were getting attacked nonstop. But it's what we wanted. Because we wanted, okay, to have the sport of boxing. We wanted our people, our own, to have a platform that where that they can that we can talk about them and, and, and not feel like something wrong with us. That's just real talk. The LDBC is created for any boxing fan. But it also was created to give a lot of our fighters, man. To give these guys room, just to give them a platform so that they can have their voice. Because on a lot of these other channels, man, they just wasn't getting their voice. I mean, so many mega channels making hate videos on fighters, man, and mainly black fighters. These guys couldn't get a fair shake, man. They could never get a damn fair shake. And 78 just said, forget it, man. Let's go ahead and let's take this thing and let's do what we got to do. Let's go. Who, who's with me? I said, I'm down. I'm down. See, the nucleus best fight the best we've stayed together all this time we've stayed together for almost three years going on three years we've stayed together for all this time there's the LDBC nucleus it's not a secret society but there's a nucleus and I can tell you this we talk daily come 2018 you see things in the LDBC man is taking off 2019 is going to be our year 2019 is going to be our year. And I'm telling you, boy, what's coming in 2019 and 2020? I can tell you what. <laughs> I can tell you what. Just hold on. Buckle up and get ready for the ride. Because it's going to be an explosion, what we got planned in 2019. You starting to see the interviews pick up within the LDBC, even on my own channel. I'm getting, you know, like top-notch MMA fighters come on my channel. Okay, I mean, 78 and, and, and Black Fight Fan, they, they, they interviewing, you know, the likes of uh, Bo Mag, Errol Spence Jr., Deontay Wilder, Blood Boxing interviewing uh, Joseph Ndongo. Okay, and guys, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The LDBC, we got a lot of momentum. And people who feud, they don't get momentum. And the people, the subscribers who are right there with us from the start, they know. Those subscribers that are right there with us from the start, they know who the nucleus is. They know who the LDBC nucleus is. Ask anybody. That nucleus, we've disagreed on a lot of topics. We've never had a feud. See, the people that are not no, they're no the people that are no longer with us, they were never with us. The LDBC nucleus is very, very tight. They're gonna try to find a weak link, man. They're gonna try to. They're gonna try. It's not going to work. It's just never going to work. And that, well, that's just the way that is.